everybody. Welcome to the video. Sam's driving, so he's going to keep his eyes on the road. But uh, we're on our <laughs> we're on our way to Scampton in the Midlands, uh, where there is an old RAF base that the government are planning to turn into migrant accommodation for up to two thousand illegals. There are only 600 people living in the local area, so if this happens, they could potentially be outnumbered by three to one. So the locals are obviously fighting back against it. We've got locals in Patriotic Alternative who have been there regularly helping out. Um, and there's lots of different gates on the base. So basically, they've given a call out. If you can get down and help us, come and help us. There's a permanent camp there where people are staying over permanently. Um, so we're basically, we've got we've got our scruffs on, we've got our scruffy clothes and our boots and stuff. We're going to go down for the day and just get stuck in. Whatever they need us to do, we're going to do it. There was a storm recently, so I think a lot of stuff is damaged. There's litter everywhere. We need to we just, we need to clean it up and fix things. Sam's got his tools. Um, I think up today we've maybe got around 15 to 20 people from Patriotic Alternative going. However, the PA lads have, have been there quite a lot, haven't they? They're, yeah, yeah. They've been uh, helping out quite a lot already, which is good. Yeah, the East Midlands lot are kind of based around that general area. They're all very concentrated around that general area, so they've been really uh, down and helping out. And I know on Monday or Tuesday, was it, when the, when the storm was just ripping the camp apart, um, we had some of our guys down there helping strap it all back together and everything. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it'll be good to get down there and just see it in, in person. Um, We've got friends down there as well, we've been on Facebook groups and everything like that, so we're going to finally meet a lot, a lot of the people I've been talking to. Yeah, we've got firewood as well that we're going to donate so that they can keep warm when they stay over. Yes, um, yeah, yeah. We've got some cookies, we've got all sorts of things, all of our guys are bringing, um, I think some of them have got pallets that they're going to break up so that people can start fires. Um, so yeah, basically we're going to donate some stuff to the camp, um, we're going to man a gate so that that's defended for the day, and we're going to tidy up. So. Dirty work, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you down there. Bye. Bye. so close to the road like the road is literally there and then the camp is there like right on the main road so here's Sam sorting his uh we've got some firewood and stuff Joined by Mark Collett. Um, Hello. <laughs> you've been here about an hour and a half. Yeah, I've been here since just after 11. Uh, we were helping put up some tents <laughs> earlier. Uh, and, and move around some wood and we did a bit of an appeal for firewood and they've got loads of that now we've got a good fire going and there's some ladies in the new tent who are just connecting the electric and making everyone coffees and teas there's a really really good atmosphere and we've been getting a lot of support for passing motorists the beeps have been incredible yeah that's what's surprising me actually like about maybe three quarters of the cars that drive past the beeping so Obviously, you know, the locals and even people who are travelling from further afield are all in support of this camp. Um, if I just move around, you can sort of see the, like the tents there and everyone's got the cars near and providing manpower, aren't we? Yeah, well, we, we, did, we did help put up the... Cause they've, they've expanded it this morning and we were helping put up the new tent and the stuff being moved into there. That's now like the refreshment tent. Um, There's a really, really positive buzz. When we turned up this morning, people were happy to see us. And really, I think the message I'd give to people is if you can just come down and spend a few hours, spend a day and afternoon, it's a massive morale boost for the guys who were down here full time. So those little shows of support just keep everyone, you know, in really good spirits. Uh, obviously, the passing motorists do that as well. There's a real sort of... Um, almost like carnival atmosphere here everyone's in such good spirits and it's, it's kind of infectious it doesn't you know i don't think you could come down here and not end up smiling by the end of it it's brilliant everyone's really nice and everyone's just getting stuck in so if you are local just come down and bring some bottles of water or anything that you think they might use and they'll make you feel welcome
true news delivered, that means the migrants are probably coming to us after. So we were saying that um, if you see the food, let us know, and we'll just get as many PA people down as possible and try and add as many kids as possible. Is that a good plan? Yeah, we'll have a big call to action when we know that food's coming in and get every activist we can outside these gates blockading it so that they can't get any more food or any of these migrants in. And they would also say that it would start with 30 migrants arriving here. But, do we trust them? Yeah, what, in the first five minutes or what? <laughs> uh, and the guys here were also saying that they're, they're potentially worried that they might fly them in because I didn't know there was a landing strip in there. Well, it's an RAF base move, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> they got a submarine dock in there. <laughs> doing well at the moment though. We're currently laying, uh, I'm going to show you this. Uh, we're laying the foundations for, um, they built some framing this morning, so they got a big square framing, and they're going to bring it out from that tent all the way back to us, about seven and a half meters. Um, but we've just been laying the floor. Uh, it's got floor, floor pallets. Um, is what we've been laying. So, uh, and also, <laughs> I'm stood on three pallets. <laughs> I'm stood in a hole. There is actually rat Sam's in a hole and I'm on three pallets. That's what we needed to do. Thank you. Thanks, Adrian. hours um, and it's been tough work so just oh, I just want to say a fair play to the guys who were here like consistently because it's uh it's not a very nice <laughs> it's not a very nice job but they're doing brilliantly because no. we need to go pick up our kids so they're just putting the tarp over and then it's finished so we're yeah. going to see a picture of it well, we built up, basically when we arrived at the camp this morning the original tent wasn't fit for purpose uh, the first thing we did was build this huge new dome tent which is now the kitchen but then we pulled down the original structure we relayed all the um, pallets to build a solid base we built a wooden structure we've uh, Put all of that together, it's all been screwed into place, and they're just doing the last little touches before they put the tarps over. We've yeah. got to fly. But and we're good because we can't see it today. I know. <laughs> but they're gonna, go some, they're gonna put some pictures online yeah. so we can see the final thing. But I hope we've helped out. I think yeah, the, the, the site yeah. now <laughs> is completely different to what it was when we arrived. It's almost been completely repurposed in one day. We've been here since about 11 a.m. We've helped out as much as we can. We're going to be back again. It's been absolutely brilliant. Everyone here is lovely. We've had a wonderful day and we were just happy that we could help in the way we have. And we're going to come back and you're, you're going to bring a barbecue. I am. I'm going to bring my famous sausages, trying to get the patriarch over here uh, to help me with cooking duties. It's got to be done. So if you're nearby, just drop in. They're, just, they're really friendly. They always need help with physical work, but just bringing supplies and stuff as well. Right, yeah. Yeah. Water, firewood, um, food that's sort of non-perishable, pot noodles, cereal bars. Just come down and say hi, they'll be happy to see you. Yeah, so we're going to leave it there, but take care. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.